I think it's time I went rogue. Let's write an ebook. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. But before we get on with today's video, let me share with you a beast of a book called The Reselling Secrets that I have produced on my own, not alongside anyone else, because that's a lone wolf I am. I'm the kind of guy who's killing it. You want to be following me on this channel because I'm the boss. Anyway, the, the book is called Reselling Secrets, and basically it dispenses all my knowledge, the knowledge that you don't know, that's inside my brain, of all these reselling secrets that none of these YouTubers are telling us. So, let's get started. Let's buy the book, £20, right in there, Click the link and down below and don't forget subscribe to the channel and you can be a reselling expert. This was just simply the worst book ever. £20 for this. Self-proclaimed boss? More like self-proclaimed c Used it as toilet paper. Hang on, isn't this an e-book? For God's sake, you put 10 minutes of work into a solid book, a solid, solid book, with all the secrets that 10 minutes can give for £20, just £20, and this is what you get. You get people slandering it, you get people slating it. Well, I'm sorry if I can't sell an honest product for an honest price in today's world. To be honest, I just don't want to be here. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a joke. I've got so much footage, I don't know what I've put in there, but um, yeah, pretty funny anyway. Well, I think it was funny. I want to do kind of more of these like mini kind of slots at the start of episodes that are a little bit humorous by my standards, but maybe not by anyone else's. But if it gives one person a laugh, then, then that's cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't have a problem with anyone selling ebooks, by the way. I just don't like it when people sell ebooks for like vastly over their value or whatever. That was kind of a joke I was getting at. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, um, we will move on. Today I'm talking about how um, basically organisation within a reselling business can harm that reselling business. So, this is just my opinion as usual, um, but we'll get on with this. So, basically through the journey of reselling that I've been on, my personal journey, I have found that when I'm messy and when I have no organization, it really does impact on my day, my productivity within that day or that week, um, my kind of uh, outlook on the day. It, 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 it's very, what I find is organization directly impacts your uh, sort of mental outlook or your emotional outlook on that day or on that uh, work that you're doing. So, for example, when my spare room or when my lockup or wherever is like really, really cluttered, then it makes me want to avoid that space. It makes me want to think, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to start work. I don't, you, you get that fear of starting and overcoming that fear of actually starting something is one of the biggest things in life. Whether you're starting a business, a new hobby, a new career, a new job, whatever it is, it doesn't even need to be related to business. But that actually starting block and actually jumping over that starting block is the biggest thing. So what you can do is when you've started, once you've jumped over that starting block, the ideal situation is to get things organized. Don't have a mess on the floor. Get things off the floor. Get things into, uh, you know, bins, into boxes, all that sort of stuff. And as best you can, this is the advice I would give, as best you can in a reselling business, keep it that way. Keep it so that then you've got basically things organized into boxes, whether it's unlisted or listed. You might be thinking, well, why do I need to organize unlisted stock? Isn't that just like an extra job, you know, okay, yeah, I need listed stock all organized into, you know, separate boxes and maybe even some sort of alphanumerical system or something in place to find the items. But I don't really need to sort unlisted stock. I'll just pile it in a room somewhere. Well, the people who pile it in a room somewhere, I am probably in that brigade, but I will tell you that if you do that and do that and do that, what what's most probably going to happen is you're just going to get a new space, 
and then that's completely clear and then you're just going to start filling that up again and filling it up and you're starting to gonna gonna start to become a bit more of a hoarder so what I would su suggest is not dumping it all in one room, you know, not m getting this room all overwhelming, but working through it, trying to not buy as much when you can if you've got a lot of stock already. You know, I, ne I, I would never directly say to someone, completely don't stop, you know, don't stop buying or anything because, you know, if, you, if you've got, if there's a good deal, if a good deal presents itself, you don't want to ignore it. But what you can do is you can get organized within that room. You can make sure you're listing regularly so that then it controls that down. You can put things into set boxes. Maybe you have electricals for testing in one box or on one shelf, just so you know where you are. There's a little bit of organization there, but you may be not going to the extent of numbering things and stuff like that that you might do with listed stock if you've got a larger inventory and you need to organize it more. But just do that, and then when another haul comes in, try. This is a big one. Try not to put it on the floor. If you put it on the floor, I've had this so many times. If you put it on the floor, and then let's say you go to a car boot the next day, or you're going out sourcing the next day, or maybe you've got a big auction haul that you've got to collect the next day, that then comes in and it mounts up and it mounts up and it mounts up. I've shown you my spare room on video before of that exact situation where it just mounts up and mounts up and mounts up. So if you are buying a lot at one stage, yes, okay, sometimes it can get quite overwhelming. But if you do have to put anything on the floor or if you are getting a bit overwhelmed, maybe there's a lot of boxes in your way or something like that, as quickly as you can, get things listed, get things cleared up, get things organized because it'll help your mental state. There is days where I don't even want to go into the spare room, where I don't even want to go to my lockup or anything like that because I think, oh, it's a mess, it's not good. And that can all be avoided and I can be so much more productive and you guys can too if you had just had the foresight to maybe when you leave the room uh, last thing at night or whatever, you just get some sort of organization ready for the next day and the same with listed stock so organization with listed stock so if you're not organized with with listed stock, i personally don't have any sort of system i am all unorganized with my listed stock and that's why i can identify the problems of being unorganized and how i can sort of solve them the problem is for me i never solve them i just kind of half-heartedly sort them out because i'm not I've not got the personality type of someone who can be really, really organized. I would say I kind of have OCD in one way, but again, I don't because I, I am quite an unorganized person. So it, it's kind of weird for me. I, I address these situations or I uh, notice these situations of an unorganized uh, mess, but then when I clear them up, it happens again. It repeats itself, and I'm quite happy to admit that. But I'm trying to say to you guys now, don't let that happen through my mis learn through my mistakes and don't let that happen to yourselves so with my listed stock as i say i don't have any uh, sort of alphanumerical system i don't have any barcoding system or anything like that there's loads of different systems you could use um and that means that if stock comes in and gets i the, the one thing i do have is i have organized shelves so i have like video games electronics you know all that sort of stuff all organized uh, ceramics and stuff like that and all, all that sort of stuff but it means that if stuff is coming in and stuff is coming in and you're putting it on the shelves and all that sort of stuff, things, because you've not got a, a specific system, things can go missing. So that's the issue that if you don't have an, a, a good organized system with your listed stock can bring. Now, of course, that can still happen with any barcode system or, you know, numerical system that you've got in place. You're going to lose stuff. However, it's going to be far less than if you don't have that system or if you maybe just organize things in a certain way, like in banana boxes, like putting things in banana boxes might be better than just having them on an open shelf. You know, you never know, something could happen while you're not in your storeroom, something could fall off the shelf. You never know, it could roll under somewhere, under another shelf, and that item is essentially lost, and you're looking for it when once it sells, and you can't find it. You've looked everywhere, or so you, so you think, but it's actually just rolled under somewhere, and you, you can't find that item, you end up having to drop ship it or cancel the sale or whatever you're going to do with, with that situation. So, yeah, I think listed stock, you've got to be organized. It's so, organization is so important 
Um, and I know that so many resellers necessarily don't do it to maybe the standard they could do, me included. And I think that it is something that I'm trying to work on as well as others are trying to work on on a consistent basis because it is so, so important. So I hope you got some information from that video. I know it was a bit of a rambly one. I've not scripted this video or anything like that. Well, apart from the first bit. Um, but yeah, so I, I just kind of blurred out what I thought would be would be good to talk about. Um, if you have any other tips or anything else you'd like to add to this video, then that is what the comment section is for. Give your tips, you know, people might be looking in the comment section and they can get some more information and some more tips from you guys as well to help extend the video on. So yeah, I'll leave it there guys. If you like the video, please do give it a like and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon guys.